Lesson number two. This is what we're doing for Hass. So on a Friday, Mr. O will do Hass, and this is our Hass lesson for today. So you should have just watched a video on what school was like a long, long time ago, more than a hundred years ago. And what we actually did in class was we wrote down some things that were the same as school today, things that were different. So things that were the same as school 100 years ago as today, things that are different now at Magella, things that are different, and something that you saw in the video that you thought was interesting. I want these things floating around in your mind because I'm going to get you to do some writing. So these are the sorts of things that you will need for your piece of writing. Okay, things that were the same. I'll flick through your workbooks and these are some of the things that you said were the same about school all those years ago and it's the same as what school is like today. So some people said that both schools had a teacher and that is very true. Both schools had a teacher and both schools had students. The second thing was that both schools, 100 years ago and today, do reading, writing and arithmetic, the three R's. They make the R sound. So reading, r writing, r writing and arithmetic has an R in the beginning and arithmetic means maths. So school is the same in that we teach maths, we teach reading, and we teach writing. Things that were different, the clothes were very, very different. Fashion has changed. The teacher was very, very strict. We might have strict teachers here at Magella, but that, that lady, that teacher, was very, very strict. The chalkboard was also different. So we don't have chalkboards anymore, and they had chalkboards then. Something that was interesting, I've not seen a student sit in the corner before with a hat on when they've done something wrong. So I thought that was very interesting. That certainly doesn't happen at school today. These things here are going to be really important for your writing. You're going to need to use your imagination and some of these ideas will help. Okay, so for your activity today, you're going to need to find these two bits of paper. These are your um, pieces of paper for your HASS activity today. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that we are one of the characters that walked in the door and found themselves back at school 100 years ago. So I want you to pretend that you are one of those characters who just walked into that classroom 100 years ago. And I want you to think about what you would have seen, what you would have heard, what you would have felt, okay? You are the character who walked into that classroom. You are one of those kids in that video. This is called a diary entry. Dear Diary by Mr. Omara. And yours will be Dear Diary by your name. And you're going to write to your diary and you're going to tell your diary what it was like to walk into that classroom. Because it would have been different. It would have been interesting and there would have been some things that were the same. Okay. These things here, you can use. If you're stuck for ideas, you can use these sentence starters in your diary entry. When you pretend that you are the character in that video clip. You are the character. Okay, you can use these. So I'm happy to see these in your writing if you are stuck. Dear diary, I think this school is dot 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 and you would need to finish that sentence 
Dear Diary, I think this school is what? What is it? Dear Diary, where am I? She was wearing. That sounds like you're talking about the teacher at the front of the class. She was wearing. So describe to your diary what it was that she was wearing. She was wearing. If you want to use that sentence starter, you can. Then a boy had to sit in the corner because. And then you would need to explain to your diary why the boy was in the corner with the hat on. If you want to use these because you're, sh because you're stuck and you need some ideas, you can. But these are, these are sentence starters. So you would need to finish it. This is what it will look like. Not finished. This is, this is what it looks like when you have started. So Mr. O'Mara has started. You can use these, but you can't use this. This is my work, okay? This is how it reads. Dear Diary by Mr. O'Mara. I do not know what to do. Don't forget, I'm a character who just walked into school 100 years ago. Dear Diary by Mr. O'Mara. I don't know what to do. This teacher is crazy. When my friends and I, dot, 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 and it will be something like, when my friends and I walked in, she yelled and screamed at us. Full stop. I want you to finish this diary entry and you might even need a second page. Two things. What did it look like, sound like, feel like? And the second thing is have a think about some of the things that were the same, some of the things that were different, some of the things that were interesting. They should give you ideas. They should give you things to write about. If you want to use these, you can. But I'm looking for at least 30 minutes of writing. No breaks, no interruptions, a full diary entry even onto the second page if you can. Good luck.